Marvin, the tap dancing horse. He can dance, he can dance, he can dance. Just shine that spotlight on me. Every show must have a star. He can dance, he can dance, he can dance, he can dance. Go down, I'm ready to perform. This is my home up on the stage. I'll dance for you, and we'll perform for you too. I'm Marvin the Tap Dancing Horse. Dance, you can dance, you can dance. Elizabeth. Thank you, Eddie. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, oh, no. oh, not again. Oh, 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 I can't do it. Oh, oh, dear. Elizabeth. <gasps> it's safe now. Oh, dear, what a mess. Perhaps I should juggle cans of pineapple. Hmm, I don't think that's a good idea. Remember the bricks? Oh, sometimes. You need to juggle something that's not so dangerous. How about marshmallows? I've tried that. And? I eat them all. Hmm. I know lemons. Yes, lemons. Great. And I happen to know just the place to get some. Come on. <gasps> uh, why are we going that way, Eddie? It's the shortest way to get to Edna's lemon ice stand. We can't go that way. Sure we can. Come on. No, thanks, Eddie. I'll just go around the other way. Other way? But it's right up here. Just past the... No, 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 don't say it! Oh. Don't say what? <laughs> Haunted house? I guess I'm going the long way around. Well, wait up, Elizabeth! And I think she was too scared to go past the haunted house. Poor dear. She won't even say the words haunted house. She calls it that place. I've been in there a thousand times. It's not even scary. Here's my theory. When she was just a piglet, a whale tried to swallow her. <coughs> you never know. Well, I'm sure she wouldn't be scared if she saw what was in there. Ah! Bubblegum. Huh. Now I've got a good reason to avoid this place. <laughs> Another bad dream, Elizabeth. That's all. Come and stay in my tent until you calm down. <laughs> Thank you, Diamonds. I'll make a cup of hot chocolate for you. Oh, with three marshmallows if you could. Oh, I'm in such a state. Hot chocolate? What about me? Stripes? I was jolted awake by a terrifying scream. <laughs> Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Hi. Where's Elizabeth? Sleeping peacefully after keeping us up all night. What happened? Oh, she had haunted house nightmares again. <sighs> the poor dear. I sure wish there was something we could do to help her. Not much we can do, Eddie. Just be supportive and 
Keep her away from that haunted house. I can never remember. Are you supposed to wake someone when they're sleepwalking? Yes. If they're heading for a busy street or a cliff, you should wake them. Ah, uh, she'll be all right then. Who? Elizabeth. She's wandering around the midway over by the haunted house. The haunted, the haunted house? house? Uh-oh, what should we do? We don't dare wake her now. Stay calm. Just let her come to us, and then we'll point her that way, back to her trailer. <laughs> oh, no. Yikes. <gasps> Elizabeth, we're right here. <laughs> Elizabeth. Elizabeth, wake up! Elizabeth! Oh, oh, they're gonna get me! They're gonna get me! Who's gonna get you? You know, ghosts. There's no ghosts in there, and I ought to know. I built it myself. I even did my own sound effects. See? It's not a haunted house. It's a phony baloney just for fun house. You should go in there and see for yourself, Elizabeth. Me? Go in there? I'll go with you. Well, I... It's just that... What the thing is... <laughs> you and your big mouth. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for coming, coming to Jack Carnival. Come back to you soon. Oh, it's been a long day. It certainly has. I'm looking forward to a good night's sleep. Oh, me too. I can't wait to hit the hay. Hey! You can't go to bed yet. It's too early. How about a game of bridge? <laughs> Pinochle? Cribbage? Goldfish? Elizabeth, are you afraid of having bad dreams again? Well, I, um, well, you see, I, uh, yes. What you need to do is think of nice things, so you'll have nice dreams. All right. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll think of nice things. But could you guys do me one small favor? Of course, anything. Oh, good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Diamonds. Good night, Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> Just think of nice things. Rainbows, butterflies, corn on the cob. <gasps> butterflies, corn on the cob. Rainbows, butterflies, corn on the cob. <laughs> Rainbows, butterflies, corn on the cob. <laughs> Having another bad dream. Really? It was just a dream? Oh dear. I'll do anything to stop having these nightmares. Anything? I'll do anything but that. It's time to get rid of these nightmares once and for all. Yes, you can't keep having these sleepless nights, Elizabeth. And neither can the rest of us. Do you really think that going, you know, in there will help me get rid of my nightmares? It's worth a try. Sometimes if you want your fears to go away, you have to face them head on. And you'll come with me? Every step of the way. And we'll be out here cheering you on. Ready, Elizabeth? <laughs> Ready, Eddie. It's okay, Elizabeth. Now, come on. The first part's right up ahead. It's fun, you'll see. Fun? Ah! Save me, Eddie! Save me! Calm down, Elizabeth. 
Look! It's only a wolfman dummy. And that's just a tape recording of Jack roaring. Look! That's all it is? Really? Really. Now, come on, we have a few more places to visit. I can't stand this suspense. I'm sure Eddie has everything under control. Or as much as possible when you're with Elizabeth. Get it off! Get it off! Relax, Elizabeth. It's only Jiffy Web. <laughs> See? Oh! Isn't that convenient? And check this out. Eddie, how can you touch that spider? <laughs> Easy, it's made of rubber. Careful, you're gonna start having fun soon. You're kidding me. Elizabeth actually went into the haunted house? She figured it was the only way to put an end to her nightmares. I never would have guessed she had it in her. Huh, how's she doing? Ah! <laughs> Just great. See? They're fake bats, Elizabeth. Oh, actually, they're kind of cute. <laughs> okay. This is the last part of the haunted house. Think you're ready for it? What's that red light? That's the exit. Once we get there, we just have to push open the door and we're home free. <laughs> you stay here, Eddie. I'm going to do this by myself. Are you sure, Elizabeth? I mean, it's just that this last bit has, you know, ooh. It doesn't matter. I have to do this on my own. Okay. I'll wait right here. It's a phony baloney just for fun house. Maybe there isn't anything else. Maybe I, I can just get to the red light and... <gasps> Elizabeth, are you okay? Elizabeth? Elizabeth! <laughs> It's not a ghost at all! It's an old pillowcase tied to a string! Well done, Elizabeth. I'm proud of you. You faced your fears and won. You don't have to be afraid of the haunted house anymore! Thanks, everybody! You all helped me so much! And, Eddie, I could never have done this without you. Glad I could help. So, are you going to sleep now? No, I'd like to go through the haunted house again. Anyone want to come with me? Sure. I hope I can fit. Oh, what the heck. Why not? I'm getting new shoes today, so I thought I'd give my old ones a bon voyage rat a tat tat. Good morning, everybody. Hello, Eddie. Good morning. Morning, Eddie. Ah, uh, breakfast. Yep, a big bowl of crunchy creatures. Ah, milk level good. Degree of sogginess. Very good. I soaked them for 10 minutes. They did it again. I'm firing off a letter to this company. What's the matter? There are too many giraffes and not enough elephants in this cereal. Stripes, how could you? Oh, relax, Diamonds. I'd never eat a real elephant. Oh. <sighs> well, not one I knew anyway. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. Just relax. I wouldn't dream of asking anyone to work on the day off. No wonder the public is staying away. Look at this place. That carnival is supposed to be clean and bright and cheerful. <sighs> What's with Jack? 
He gets like this whenever attendance is down. And he wants us to work on our day off. Oh, look, I'm all done. But I'm still very hungry. Uh-oh. He dropped something. Eddie, be careful. It might be a trap. No, it's a list. Things to do. Cleaning, painting, sweeping, weeding, patching, attaching, fetching, fixing, scrubbing. Gee, Jack sure has a lot of stuff to do. Now, Eddie, don't go down that road. Hmm. I couldn't help but notice how overworked he looked. Uh, I vote that we take the day off. Who's in favor? When does Jack get a day off? Whenever he wants. He's the boss. Come on, let's see those hands, hooves, and trunks. Hmm. I was looking forward to getting those new shoes. The list says Edna needs some lemons from town, Marvin. Perfect. I'll get the shoes, get the lemons, and come back to help with the other things. <gasps> I'll help, too. You can count me in, Eddie. That's great. If we all work together, we'll have these chores done in no time. Oh, all right, then. I'll help. But I'm still calling it my day off. Come on, Marvin. We've got to pick up Edna's lemons and get back to the carnival. Oh, new shoes always make me feel like dancing. <laughs> Lead the way, Eddie. Well, would you look at that? What? Big Bronco. I haven't seen one of these in years. Yeah, it's me. Well, we have a lot to do back at the carnival. Hey! Why don't you take it for a ride, Eddie? My treat. But it's for little kids. It'll remind you of your youth. What do you say, partner? Hmm. Okay, one quick ride. Now you're talking, buckaroo. Hop on. We deserve a little fun on our day off. Well, is it as much fun as you remember? Yeah, it is! Yeehaw! Race you to the next tumbleweed, cowpoke! Hey, you're on! Your hoss is fast, son, but he ain't no match for Mustang Marvin! <laughs> Giddy up, Bronco! <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't think Big Bronco is feeling very well. I don't think he's used to running that fast. Ooh! Look what you've done! Uh, I guess maybe I was a little too big for it. Sorry. Sorry? That's all you have to say? This ride brings in a lot of business, and you two are gonna pay for the damages. Should we call Jack? And tell him we broke a kitty ride? No, Eddie. Jack's got enough on his mind. We're gonna have to solve this problem on our own. <sighs> All right, Diamonds. It's ready when you are. Thank you, Elizabeth. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Whoever sees the garbage under here, anyway? Jack did. He's gotten carried away with all these chores. Uh, I don't think you should sit down, Stripes. This is my day off, and I'll sit down when I want to sit down. But I just painted there. <gasps> Say, that gives me an idea. Oh, no. If you're thinking of passing me off as a rare blue Bengal tiger, I'm not doing it. Oh, no, no, no. I was talking about the bleachers. They're looking great. Thank you, Jack. So, what's your idea? Let's refurbish the Pickle King next. Keep up the good work, gang. Thank you, Jack. Well, it shouldn't take too long if we all work together. Speaking of working together, what's taking Marvin and Eddie so long? I'm sure they're trying to get here as fast as they can. Way down upon the Swanee River, far, far away. That's where my heart is turning ever. That's where the old folks 
stay. Thanks, mister. How much have we made, Eddie? Hmm, let's see. Carry the ten, add the three. A dollar seventeen. Oh, at this rate, it'll take us weeks to raise enough money. We need a better location. Or something that already works at this location. Horseback rides? But, Marvin, you're a tap-dancing horse. I know, but it's either that or calling Jack and telling him the predicament we're in. Horseback rides! Get him here! Get him now! Horseback rides! Lemonade is ready when you are! Good. I'm tired of the Pickle King smiling at me. I could drink a gallon of lemonade. So could I. Thank you, Edna. Ah, oh, that's so refreshing. Could I have another glass full, please? <gasps> you just drank the whole thing. I did? Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. I thought that was my glass. Start making another batch, Edna. Sorry, I'm fresh out of lemons. But this is a lemon ice stand. Tell me about it. I was expecting Eddie and Marvin back with more lemons ages ago. Looks like I'll have to go and get them myself. I hope they have a good excuse. No pushing. Everyone will get a chance to ride Mustang Marvin. <sighs> Yay! Okay, who's next? You're gonna need a lot of change. I don't want any change. Mommy says I can ride the horsey as long as I want. Mm. Okay. Ugh. Gee, you're a big boy. Mm. Aww. Here, let me hold that for you. Don't eat any. Giddy up! Ugh. Oh. oh, come on! You're riding like a snail. A uh, snail? Easy, Marvin, easy. Remember, the customer's always right. A uh, snail? I said, giddy up! Hey! <laughs> he wants Bronco? I'll give him Bronco! <laughs> Believe it! They were what? Marvin was horsing around with a bunch of kids, and Eddie was stuffing his face with ice cream! No wonder they were taking so long. They were having a day on the town. While we were here working our fingers to the bone! Well, I'm glad someone enjoyed their day off. Hi, everybody! Oh. Hey. 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 Sorry we're late. Ooh, boy, have we had a busy day. Ran into some problems, did you? Gee, I'll say. But it wasn't anything we couldn't handle on our own, Jack. You don't have to worry about a thing. And everything's just swell here, too. Because we all pitched in. And worked together. While you two were whooping it up in town. Whooping, whooping it up? up? There's no use denying it. Edna saw you horsing around with a bunch of kids. And having ice cream. Eddie and I have been working for eight hours straight. That's right. We accidentally broke Big Bronco and we had to make enough money to get it repaired. You broke what? Big Bronco, a kiddie ride in front of the drugstore. Uh, that's the one. It's a kiddie ride, all right. <laughs> well, I'm glad someone finds it amusing. You two should have called me. This morning you looked as if you had enough problems of your own. I didn't want to bother you. Oh! We're family, Marvin. If you can't call the people who care about you, who can you call? That's so true. You should have called home. We care about you guys. Thanks, everyone. I'll sure remember that next time.
So, how much uh, money did you raise? Two hundred dollars and twenty-five cents. You did? How'd you do that? Marvin gave horseback rides. Say... I know what you're thinking, Jack, and I'm not interested. But I'll get you a really nice saddle. Not interested. Uh, hold on, Marvin. A new saddle and a microwave oven. Now there's a deal.